Okay, what we're looking at tonight is a uh, another uh, Heath kit IG 102. It's in great condition. Um, it is one of the more modern of the IG 102s. Um, the case has no major scratches. The paint's in good condition. The um, Vernier is easy to read. It hasn't been chipped, scratched. The controls are all uh, very fluid. Sometimes these things have a tendency to corrode and they stick to the shaft and have to work pretty hard to get them undone. So Take a look at the side here. Top. And the back. Okay. Let's go ahead. And we'll take a look at the output. All right, so we have the uh, generator connected up to a uh, B and K 100 megahertz oscilloscope. We'll be able to observe the waveform uh, over uh, the entirety of its 110 megacycles. Uh, you can get an idea of what it looks like. Right now, we are uh, below the lowest scale. And this would be uh, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 310 kilocycles thereabouts. And then as we raise the uh, raise the vernier, you can observe the waveform on the scope. In fact, what I'm going to do, turn this light off behind us. It'll make it a lot easier to observe the scope. All right, let's go ahead and turn up the frequency. As we sweep across the frequency range on the vernier, you'll be able to see that the uh, the waveform amplitude will change, will grow and shrink at different points because the efficiency of the generator is different at uh, different frequencies. But what you want to look for is any oddities in the waveform uh, that would be objectionable. Uh, in uh, aligning your equipment. All right, let's get ourselves back down to the low end here. We are now on band B. This is covering 310 kilocycles to 1.1 megacycles. And we'll slowly raise it here. Again, observing the waveform. Uh, here we are greatly... Uh, more efficient. We're going to lower down the uh, amplitude using the attenuator. I'll go ahead and take myself back down to the low end. And let's go ahead and raise our oscilloscope range up a bit so we can see the waveform a little easier. Okay. This is in the uh, band C. This is one megacycle to 3.2 megacycles. And I'm raising it, watching the waveform. And we are at the max of that uh, range. Go ahead and turn up my scope a little more. Kick ourselves up one ourselves down to the low end. Raise up our gain a little bit. All right. And once again, we're raising up the, uh, the frequency and observing the waveform. Three point one megacycles to eleven megacycles. We are now at 11 megacycles. I'll reduce my gain a little bit here. 
And we're going to go back down to low end and change our range. All right, we are now at 10 mega cycles. And uh, it's 10 going to 32. Getting ready to start changing, raising the frequency. I'm going to go ahead and turn up my scope again. There. Okay, raising the frequency. Turn down my attenuator a little bit so I can keep the waveform on the screen. of that range and finally we're going to go take ourselves back down we're going to go up to the last range this is the band F this would be 32 megacycles to 110 megacycles and we'll go ahead and kick ourselves up again and here we go frequencies increasing Halfway, got to be around 55, 60 mega cycles. Starting to fall off, approaching 110, and then maximum, whatever that is. So there we've covered all of the ranges. You've seen the waveform. Okay, I'm at my uh, the end of my frequency range with the scope. I've uh, kicked on the times five, try and kick up the uh, waveform. So you can see it just a little easier. And we are going back down to the 32 in. This is the highest range. It's the most difficult, but uh, it did an admirable job. Okay, let's go ahead and check the vernier scale just to see how accurate it is. And uh, we'll do that by uh, checking the frequency against a uh, frequency counter. So let's go ahead and change from our scope. Um, the Heath kit right now showing the frequency on our um, Philips Universal counter. Uh, we are right now at 31.04 and we are off the band uh, below the 32 mark. We're on the 32 mega cycle to 110 mega cycle range. Now, if I was to uh, set myself up to the vernier, I would say that would be 32, right about there. And I'm reading 31.756, 31.76 should be 31.8 instead of 32. Not bad. Let's go ahead and take ourselves up to the, well, roughly mid-band. We'll see this would be uh, 60 mega cycles right about there. We are reading 60.25 or 60.3 megacycles. Very good. And then finally, take ourselves up to the 110 megacycles. This would be the end of the range. Right about, oh, that's about it right there. 110 megacycles, and we are reading 109.05. So we did darn good across the range there. I think within about 1% of, of the value. All right, let's go to band E. That's uh, 10 to 32. 
And uh, this would be 32 right about... Right about there. And we are reading 31.37 at the max mark there. Let's go now down to about mid-band. And uh, let's call that about 17. Right about there. And we are reading 17.25. Very good. And take ourselves down to the 10. This would be the 10 mega cycle mark right about there. And we are reading 10.12. All right, band D. Band D, we would read um, 3.1 to 11 mega cycles. And uh, we would do that on this inner inner vernier ring right there. So that looks about 3.1. And we are getting 3.12. 3,124. Go to mid band. About 55, right about there. And we are reading 5.5. This is on the 3.1 to 11 mega cycles. So 55 on this on this band would be 5.5. So we got 5.54. And then finally, 11 mega cycles would be right about there. Yeah. We are getting 10.64. Band C. Uh, we are 1 to 3.2 mega cycles. 3.2 would be right about there. And we are reading 3.11. Mid cycle. Be about 1.7. Right there. And we are reading. 1.71 and finally 1 and we are getting 1.007 so that band tracked very well 310 kilocycles to 1.1 megacycles that would be red on this inner band here There's 3.1. We're getting, uh, I said 3.1, I'm sorry, this is 310 kilocycles to 1.1. So we're on 3.1, which would be 310. And we are getting 311.8, so about 312. Mid band. This should be 550 kilocycles right there. And we are getting 550.5. And then finally, 1.1 megacycles. Looks to be right there. And I am getting. 1.06 instead of 1.1 so we are close in fact I don't know how much would it take to get to 1.6 1.1 not bad finally 100 kilocycles 
should be right about there. We are reading 100.8 and it goes up to 320 kilocycles so there would be about 170 right there and we are getting 170.8 and then finally 320 kilocycles would be right about there getting 312. So we're off a little bit on the high side of the band A, but not terribly and um, if you're using a frequency counter all of that's for not anyway. Uh, 320 would be right about there. Okay, so now we've gone through the vernier uh, and it's checked out very decently uh, across the spectrum. All the bands track fairly close, some of them extremely close. Uh, our waveform looked decent over the entire audio or entire RF spectrum. And uh, as you might have noticed, I replaced the button mic connectors that are normally on this unit with bayonet type bulk headers uh, connectors and um, because of that you can now use uh, any one of the modern connectors that you can buy relatively inexpensively on eBay and uh, adapt to the modern equipment not have to use the antiques okay Well, at one point we discovered that the um, RF generator did not have any internal modulation. The um, audio, 400 hertz audio frequency that should have been there wasn't. And uh, anyway, it's working now. We, uh, we found that um, unfortunately the builder, who otherwise did a fine job, mixed up a couple of resistors. Uh, had a 100K where a 10K should be and vice versa and uh, that was enough to uh, create the problem but that's been resolved now and now we do have modulation no modulation modulation so there we go so this unit uh, is in fine shape works fine has been uh, repaired calibration's been tested it's good to go whoever gets it's going to get a fine unit Thank you for watching. Oh, yes, uh, I will also include a uh, full Heathkit manual, and I'll give you a set of test leads to match the BNC connector, brand new test leads uh, with uh, gator clips on the other end. Uh, they are the most flexible, and uh, we'll get you going with it. So there you go. All right, thanks for listening again. Bye.